<clears throat> ah, excuse me. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My voice is completely shot because uh, this is the fourth hour-long episode I've done today. I don't actually know if it's going to be an hour, but all my episodes are an hour long. I can't help it. So, anyway. <clears throat> Let's do a bit of a recap. We are playing a no space belt, no space pipe run. We have currently got this pin task, and we've got a five uh, carriage train going around. <clears throat> so basically the way it works is, it picks up the, uh, I can't pause it to actually show you what the train looks like, but basically the format of the train is the last carriage, Let's have a look at this. So the last carriage is this blue one. Second last is this one. The middle carriage is these two together. The second carriage is this one. And then the top carriage is everything put together. So it picks up this one on the second carriage. And it picks up this on the fourth. Picks on the fifth, sorry, this one on the fourth. And then it drops all of these off and then picks them up here. So this is the last two, which get merged onto this one which goes onto the third carriage, and then the third carriage drops it off here, where it gets um, stacked with the second carriage to create the contents of the first carriage. <clears throat> so that is two stackers, and they are all beautiful. And yeah, it happens without a single space belt. No space belts on the entire map. If I do this, um, it doesn't actually tell you be honest um uh i wonder if it would actually tell you i don't think it would let's just put a space belt there for argument's sake and do that no it doesn't tell you it only tells you 6412 so if we remove that it doesn't even count so it doesn't show you anyway but trust me there are no space belts on here now what we've got on this train is a bit hard to see but we've got these corners and these corners. So now we have to get them working together. <laughs> and we've got a nice little setup over here where we've sort of cut them, done them over here, rotated them a little bit, stacked them all up, sent them onto the train. This time we're only using one layer of the cargo wagon instead of two. So <clears throat> this one's a little bit light on, but that's fine. <clears throat> now, what we're planning on doing here is we're going to create a much more flexible, flexible arrangement for our trains. So we're going to get rid of this station, actually. And if you remember correctly, this is the top. Uh, so we've got a shape unloader here so that is this shape right here and then we got this one which is a shape unloader right here which is the corners so what we got to do now is we got to do a stacker of these and what I'm I've got plenty of space on here so I'm probably just going to do uh, a normal one uh, put that there. We're just going to take this one and we're going to take the core of it. Move that down there. Uh, yeah. I could have potentially made this using a one by two. Potentially. We'll have, well, let's have a quick. Okay, so you can't move this one further any further over because you need that belt to get over there. And you can't move this one any... Well, you can move this one over by one. But yeah, squeezing eight belts into this little gap? No, because you need these four to get past and there's only a two gap there. So no, I don't think it's, uh, it's really feasible to make that happen. So we're going to do it on a two by two. And we're going to keep uh, keep in mind, so generally speaking, the left-hand side is 
the bottom and we're also going to output on the left hand side just to keep that sort of uh, keep that sort of thing going so yeah move that over there now in this case it doesn't matter which side is which and then the bottom one goes on the top over here obviously so we can make sure that if we only send four belts in now we're gonna cut this over there and have a sort of bridge oh no though we cut the bridge too early uh, that one has to go over to here I cut it nice and early up there and the reason I'm oh, don't want that and the reason I'm cutting a bridge is so I can have space for these top ones to cut down and then go under the bridge so yeah that's the way we're going to do it so cutting the bridge up there didn't actually cut a bridge there but we will do it ah um that was a little bit too close we have to cut it a little bit further uh, okay oh we'll make it a little bit neat here okay and then these guys have to go here and then we cut them down there and that belt's right there, so that's beautiful. No, not not yet. There we go. That's beautiful. Beautiful, and then there we go. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. We didn't actually stack these up to multiple levels. We just stacked them up to a single level. I'm going to have to do something about that over on the other side. Um, that's okay. We'll fix it. We won't fix that here. We'll fix that on the other side. And then you should already be double level. So you should be fine. And then again, um, what was it? We uh, exit on... Oh, I just accidentally... I control Z and it removed two previous changes. That's not great. So then the ones on this side go over to there. And yeah, now that we're using two by twos, we got plenty of space. Uh, you are no longer needed. You are no longer needed. Is there another belt coming down? No, they're coming into the middle. All right. So send it there, pop it up. Oh yeah, it's so much easier making blueprints when you're on a, a two by two than a uh, a bloody one by two. Although once we get the level three, then we will see how we go. Definitely getting the three by three, not getting the level three is <clears throat> something that I would like to get working. So now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix this later, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to add another, I could reuse this one. Maybe I should reuse this one because that would be easy enough to reuse that one. Mm, another wagon. Not going to affect these guys, but yeah. So we have a train here and then we've got uh, a loader like there we'd actually have to have a jump there that's I'm not too worried about that and then this one would have to be a shape unloader here so that one then goes around and up and number two so number two there number two there and thank god for patch 0 0.08 because it automatically was okay so we already got this going off here okay 
So that's kind of, we're reusing a train again, which is nice. Um, so we've got this three level complicated shape being produced using only two trains. Theoretically, we could have done it using one train. Uh, yeah. So it's good. All right, let's see. So we got that one knocked off. He goes around, he does a jump, puts it on the second wagon, goes forward, and then fails because I had these set up in the wrong order. But that's good, that's good. So now we just have to um, get this working, get this working. So the interesting thing about this is I decided I didn't want to have fillers. I didn't want to have, because I could have had something, put a thing in between these two that push it up to the top level, but then I would just have to have something over here on the bottom level. So I could put a thing in between and splits it onto both levels. But what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to send this one up to the top level. And then I'm gonna send this one up to the top level. Yeah, we're gonna try as much as possible not to have blocks that are just useless blocks. They just send belts from one side to the other. <clears throat> they gotta be merging or layering or doing something. Um, and you, yeah, so I could have a block that just layers it into two different things, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send here, so that merges over here. These girls are the top four. And then we've got this one doing the bottom layer, this one doing the top layer, and we can actually clear this out. Clear this out completely. And then this one will be purely the top layer, this will be purely the bottom layer, which is not a bad um, setup. Ooh, you've got the output. You should not have the output. You should have dropped that off. Why did you not drop that off? You're, you're, you're confusing me quite badly. I don't know why you didn't drop that off. Oh, because I got the station at the wrong point. I had the station at the wrong point. Okay, it's the second carriage that gets dropped off, not the first, not the third. It's the second one. Okay, and once we got the second layer for this one coming over, this one will start outputting at the second layer here. And then we'll have our eight. Jeez, that's been going nuts for a long time. Okay, now we have a look at our upgrades. Train capacity is currently 360. So it caps out at 1080 eventually, but right now it's just uh, 360, which means it's gonna take five carriages for this train to fully unload. Now we backed up quite a lot here, but uh, we'll see. We'll see um, how this works out. I mean, yeah, technically, we're going to be, um... well, here's the interesting thing, right? This, this layout that I've done, this magical layout, we can keep the train layout. We can keep all of these little stacky things. We can keep all of this sort of, now, obviously these bits aren't great, like these inputs, but, <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking actually here's what I'm thinking we might want to make this generic it's like almost a man and I'm kind of feel like I'm stealing a bit because I have watched a bit of Neil House's videos Neil House I'm not sure exactly how to say his name but he's done like a basically he went straight from mega base like 48 belts of everything and he did some very interesting things with, with trains he didn't have the same restriction that I'm putting on myself, but he did a lot of interesting things with trains. And he had kind of a mid-game man where he had like one train capturing, taking all circles and one train taking all squares. And then he'd sort of route it into very specific places. Um, I'm probably not gonna go that far, but what I'm thinking is that we have a generic setup and it's got four different train inputs um, and then you just pass one layer to it and it just stacks it. And once you finish the task, 
you can just change the inputs and the stacking logic and the trains will all just work normally. Yeah, <clears throat> and I think that's the direction that I'd like to head on and maybe maybe do a lot more work with with just one one trains with just trains that just have one carriage and not have these really nasty big trains that just sort of go around and do like 20 different things and stuff like that. I'd, I'd love to just have a bunch of one one trains going over everywhere and just having 12. So we got 720. So we got three, it's actually just spitting out the fourth fourth wagon right now. So <clears throat> not too much longer. Let's have a look at the next goal. Color mixing. I do not give a crap about that yet. Uh, it'll be nice to have some more space, more um, platform units, but we don't need them at the moment. We really don't. We're not using anywhere near as much as I thought it'd be. So yeah, I think having a bunch of 1-1 one -one trains is definitely not going to break the bank. Um, in terms of upgrades, obviously getting these up to 120 is a really high priority. Uh, an even higher priority is going to be not the vortex delivery, the fluid minor extensions, because yeah, fluids are going to be painful until we do that. Uh, but we don't actually need to use fluids yet. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start to look at this and we are going to produce these ones in a more generic way. So this one, uh, 9, 10, 11, we can make that without using fluids, I believe. Number 12, Hunter's Badge. Uh, if we have a look here on fluid painting. Yeah, Hunter's Badge. So that's the first one that you get with the fluid one. Whereas all of this up to this circle and pointy, um, you, so you can do all of these without needing to do fluids, which we can do fluids at the moment, but I'd like to get um, fluid extensions, fluid minor extensions first. <clears throat> so, all right, well, this one, that one's pretty solid. Like that's enough to see us through to the end game, so. Yeah, we're going to start ripping this train network down. Um, definitely don't need any of this stuff anymore. That's all gone. Uh, we got this up to the second level, which is nice. There was no real amazing things I think I created in here that I wanted to hold on to. We're going to keep that two by two variable stacker I might actually I know I know I said I was going to do this off offline but maybe I'll do this now Oh actually it's just opened Windows Explorer okay so you actually mess around with it in Windows Explorer uh, So what I might do is I might just send uh, And it's complaining these files are harmful to my computer. I don't care. Refresh. Now it's stalling a bit. Oh, looks like it crashed. No, it didn't crash. It didn't crash. It uh, it took a while, but it didn't crash. Okay, so now we got a folder. So we got... What do we got? A one by one? So this is my little one by one stacker. Uh, only does four belts, so that's not useful at all. And then we got, uh, this is the four belt stacker, which is not useful. And then we got a two by two, which is the one we just made. And then we got the eight stacker. Maybe I should start renaming these a little bit. No. Uh, so this is stacker four one by two, I believe that's the one by two. Yeah, so it's a stack of four, one by two. And this is the stack of four, 
one by one. No, I didn't put an underscore. Maybe I should put an underscore. This is what happens when you're a buddy programmer. You start putting underscores everywhere. So this is a stacker eight, two by two, and this is a stacker eight, one by one. What am I, what am I saying? It's a two by one. I am an idiot. One by two. So the, uh, the one by two is awesome, but it's also, I wonder if we can change the icon for that. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. And then this one is going to be a one by one. And then this one, we need to make it a actual stacker icon. In case you're wondering how to do this for blueprints, this is how you do this. You go in and you select the icon one by two. And then that also needs to be a one by two. I wonder if you can reorder them. Doesn't look like it, but yeah, that's fine. So we got stackers. Ah, it's not showing the number. I want the number in the icon. Dart. Oh, this is so. I'm, I'm so bad at this. Um, stacker four. And then this one, da, stacker four. Actually, what I might do is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this is the size and then this is the number. I could almost say that is a zero because then later on, when we start having 12, then we can say, okay, we got 12s. Now, of course, you can't say, you, you can't have a, a three by three in there and we probably have some three by threes, but yeah. Uh, no, this is an eight. This is an eight belt one now, so that's nice. And then this one is there and that's also an eight. Okay, so we're done. We finished off that one, and now we can get rid of the rest of this malarkey. Don't need it anymore. Okay. So, I'm gonna set up a, I'm basically gonna set up like, I'm gonna pretend I'm doing a MAM. So we're gonna set up a mini layer, a mini layer stacker thing. That didn't make much sense, okay. So you got three layers. You got three layers. You got three layers. You got all sorts of weird stuff. Three layers. <clears throat> we almost actually what we almost want to do is we want to have a generic, a generic layout that we can use. So. Maybe I should do that. So we're gonna have a stacker. So that's a eight two by two. And we're gonna go with this and we're gonna see how well it works. So this is a offloader. Offloader, there we go. And we're doing one by one trains. Give me a train stop. Okay, so that's that's it. We're doing one by one trains. So we do an unloader, or a loader, sorry. Move that, whoop, move that a little bit closer. And then that's your wagon. And then that's your train stop. <coughs> so this is a merger, right? This is, is, is a stacker. This is a stacker. It just stacks two things and that's all it does. Now we can use this as many times as we want. Uh, train stacker. And then 
Uh, we can merge a lot of these into a folder further on. So I'm actually going to make, I'm going to actually go over to my thing and I'm going to make a trains folder and we're going to refresh. And I'm going to wait and the game's going to almost crash again. But no, we got our trains folder. And it's currently complaining and saying it's empty, but that's fine. Okay. You are going to be... Oh, actually, I think I already saved it. Uh, was it a train stacker? So the train stacker goes in... I want to... Oh, whatever. I'll just do it in uh, Explorer. Yes, I know the file might be harmful to my computer. I don't care. <coughs> Okay, train, refresh. It wasn't actually showing up because it was an empty folder. That was interesting, but it's not an empty folder anymore. So yes, it is definitely stalling a bit at the moment. But now we have a look at the trains. We can see the train stacker. And now, yes, trains. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So... Let's just do this then. Let's just keep this nice and simple um, for this very first one. And what we might actually do, I got rid of all my miners, didn't I? Um, that's okay. We can, we can make some more miners. And then, uh, I gotta do this all over again. I always hate it. Good, like I completely clear out the map, and then I realize, oh, I gotta do at least one of these all over again. So annoying. Uh, yeah, at some point you should just be able to put one of these down, and it just automatically places the belts for you. Because yeah, we are way too far late in the game to be worrying about this. So yeah, we need. Uh, I might, I might end up getting a lot more of these guys going, but for now, we're just going to, so what do we need? Top left. Yes, I definitely might. Well, that's not what I wanted. And then we just shape load. Train, wagon, stop. Boom. And now we need a circle. Now what is this one doing? Now we need it down the bottom left. Maybe I should have blueprints for every single combination of this, just like bottom left or something like that. Maybe I'll do that in between. I keep saying this stuff I'll do in between videos, but I never get around to it. Ah, we're doing, we're doing eight. We're doing eight lanes, aren't we? I forgot we were doing eight lanes. That's all right. We can, we can still do eight lanes. Uh, Actually means this lines up now. Uh, and we'll send that down. Oh, we actually got to send this down all the way over to there. So what we need to do here, and then we just do our thing. Yes, every every significant shape that we do from now on is eight lanes until we get the level three and then it'll be 12 lanes whoop that's they're pressing that f button again okay hmm that's a bit annoying i'm gonna have to move this down to there because otherwise we can't get enough of this shape actually coming out Okay, beautiful. 
<clears throat> now here's one where we might want to actually start I'm gonna have to cut it maybe because that's using a lot of circles that's using a lot of circles okay maybe I'll maybe I'll I don't know when I'll do that but yeah well we've definitely figured it out anyway so we've got this reusable thing right there uh yeah i kind of definitely do want to cut this i'll tell you what i'll leave it for now actually you know what We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do stuff here. I was thinking maybe I'll just make this shape. Actually, no, that's probably a good idea. What we'll do is we'll make this second shape and then we'll cut it in half, and that'll do for the first shape. It'll take a little bit longer to get there, but where's my where's my corners? Uh we'll leave that for now. So what are you outputting here? Corners. Oh, you are actually outputting the corners already. It just works beautifully first time. Okay, beautiful. I'll take that. This one will do the same. Clear that one out. Haven't put anything in here yet. I'm going to have to clear that one out. So this one requires well here's here's an interesting thing maybe we maybe here okay here's what we do here's something really interesting that we can do and just sort of completely blow this away is that going to work I, I don't think that's going to work right out of the bag oh it does it does we just got to rotate it a bit more. We just got to tweak the rotation a bit more. Okay. So we get rid of this cutter. And then this one has to be down the bottom right. And then this one has to be there. And that's it. We don't need to do any more. We, I was thought we were going to have to get a a gray circle quarter from somewhere else but i just realized there's already one here that's beautiful that's absolutely beautiful okay okay let's clear these out let's clear these out did we get anything over here no and we can just well i said we can keep sending this one here but it's rotated incorrectly why is it rotated incorrectly? Why is that happening? Did I just screw that up like 10 minutes ago? I think I just screwed that up 10 minutes ago. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, gonna have to clear that out. Gonna have to clear that out. But yeah, I was I was on the verge of having to do a multi-stack sort of thing, but we don't need to anymore. Now the unfortunate thing about this bit is that you've got three here and you've got one here. And because of this weird gap, it's impossible to get three full extractors working on this guy. Now you can have eight extractors on this one. Which might be enough. Actually, what I might do is I might build this second shape up the top and then we just cut it in interesting ways. Um, yeah, we'll just cut it in interesting ways for the third layer. Okay, so you go like that and then you go like that and then they're all completely done up that's not what we want okay let's see how we make this work i think we need to reintroduce this cutter back here hmm. 
So this outputs four belts. We're not going to be able to get eight belts out of this one because we need, we need eight belts, don't we? And we're not going to be able to get eight belts out of it. That's annoying. We could get eight belts out of that, but that one doesn't have the circles in it. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it wouldn't be a problem if we only wanted four belts, but since we want eight belts, it's kind of annoying. What we could do is we could set this one up and then join it with some circles over from somewhere else to get that second top shape. And it's kind of a bit dodgy, but... So what are you outputting at the moment? Nothing. Why are you only on one level? You should not be on one level. Okay, you're on two levels. Top left. And yeah, this is the bottom right, and then it's going to be... So we need to, we need to temporarily cut this, but... Yeah, that's, that's fine. Well, I'll, what I might do is I might just cut it on the hub. Mm, yeah, and then because we can just get rid of the cutting thing later. One, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to rotate it first. Hopefully we've got enough space for that. That's a 180 degree rotate and then a 180 degree rotate on the other side. And then there. And then this guy goes there, this guy goes there, this guy goes there. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, I don't need that. Maybe I should actually have... No, that's all right. That's okay. Haven't picked up anything yet, but they're all going through. They're definitely going through, so that one will ping that one off fairly certain, fairly soon. So yeah. Um, well, what we're probably going to end up doing is having a setup like this, and then. This one will like go into there uh, once we figure out this shape. Um, maybe I won't send it in quite yet. Because, yeah, we want it to be. What do we want it to be? Want it to be two grey and one red. So you need to go. So we need to cut one of these grey bits out. You are fine though, you can just go through as is. And then, this one needs to be rotated down here, and that one can just stay as it is. And that's gonna give us the shape that we want, is just missing another red in the top left, which we can send down from that other location. And then we copy, F, and then, we're all good. And then we clear all the things out of that one. Whoop, don't do that. And there we go. That's that's the most useless train you will ever see in this game, but it's doing its job. And then this one, Okay, so we got some guys coming out here, only on one level at the moment, but it's fine. They're being pulled apart and the correct shape is going in. So yeah, all right, we're happy with that. And then we just need to get rid of that cutter for the second shape. Ah, uh, beautiful. And then what we'll do is we'll have some sort of merger and then this shape will go over there
Yeah, and this is the top though, isn't it? This one is the top and this one is the bottom. So they kind of have to swap. That's all right. We can, we can send some things underneath. So that one's the top. Um, it just needs to be merged with the other little circle, which I think we were going to pull from. I hate it when you've got a thing selected and it's sort of. Might as well pull it from down here. Why not? I mean, it's it's not that far away. Uh, so what are we doing? We, I'm just going to use my basic things. So we rotate right, and then we cut, and I think that's probably it, to be honest. Yeah, and then we still need to rotate left to get it in the right position. And then we need this. And yeah, we could turn the train around. Actually, yeah, let's turn the train around. Okay, that one's done. Well, do that, do that, beautiful. And then this guy goes over to there. And so we've got the second shape going through processing right now. We are very, we are pretty close to having the third shape um, ready to go. So we just got that. And then we got to have the third one. Um, or I just realized we can't quite get that in there yet. We need to have this guy. Or the only problem is that's not an eight. That's not an eight. That's a four. That guy only does four at a time, four lanes at a time. I mean, that's not a huge problem. What we do is we update this. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that's that's kind of annoying cuz I mean, okay, let's let's do something here. This is kind is not breaking my rules, it's breaking them a little bit, but it's break is not breaking my rules. So what we do is we do this. And then we got to have a reverse, an inverse of one of these that it takes two belts and splits them out into one. Which we might, I think we'll probably need one of them at some point. Um, as kind of going against the spirit of the challenge a little bit, but I mean, it's all right. It's just, it's, it's still technically within the rules that I set myself, but ideally what I would like to do in the future is to get away from all of these four belt builds just completely get away from them and so we don't even have to worry about it okay what's going on here all right you're good to go you've got eight belts of product going through I'm just about to haul off your first delivery i'm guessing So at the top left, is this one going to now tell me what's going through? Well, that's weird. Not sure how I feel about that one, that icon popping up. So if we delete this and then delete that, okay, that's what I would expect. And now we send it across to there. 
No, that's not good. We gotta we gotta redo these. Um, I mean, that's I guess that's kind of a given. So then we rotate. We rotate again, and then we rotate that one. Rotate that one. Okay. There we go. This is only a temporary thing, obviously, um, but it is still necessary for phase three of the task. So then we go, and what do we got here? Beautiful, that's exactly what we want. And then this one gets sent down to this stacker to be put on top of this shape, which we haven't actually routed along yet. That's a bit of an oversight. Uh, Well, that was a space belt. That was not what I meant to put there. We're not using space belts. Okay. Now you go over to there and you start unloading that stuff. We don't need this stuff anymore. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually counts it. It probably does. You can click on it and you can see how many it's stored, but there's no reason to store any extras. But yeah, we got to... These number are coming in here. This one. Yeah, we're still at, look at, we're still at 2,500. We've done all this. We've got so many, we got a whole bunch of little 1-1 one, one trains. This is way, way better than having a 1-5 a train. When I say 1-1 one, one and 1-5, one, it's old Factorio terminology. Like, it means the amount of locomotives you have and the amount of carriages, but... In Factorio, you could have multiple, multiple locomotives to speed a train up, and having too many carriages would slow the train down. Whereas in Shapes 2, you could have one locomotive followed by 20 carriages, and it would go just as fast as one carriage with one, um, one locomotive, one locomotive with one carriage. So, is this correct? Yeah, this is correct. And you are, you are correct as well. It looks, looks correct. Yes, they definitely both look correct. Okay, so that's good. And then once we've got this shape figured out, we can just get rid of all this, move the station closer, and we'll have the full shape and everything will just work. Now, let's look at the last one. Let's get the last little bit figured out. <laughs> um, and then what I might do is I might just call this um, video because I'm not going to just I might do some tasks offline but then again we've kind of figured out the way we want to do the tasks is this this is not going to produce what I think it's going to produce we need the we need these things we need these things okay that is perfect. That is just perfect right out the bag. I love these things. Absolutely love these things. They definitely work a lot better when you've got a more full shape, but if the shape is kind of weird or sketchy, then you definitely need to go and uh, start messing with it. Okay, but that one gets tacked on top. Uh... We almost need another merger. This this is definitely turning into train spaghetti right now. I am fully aware of how much train spaghetti is going on here. I mean, at this point, belts would make it a lot simpler, but yes. That's maybe that's the next stage to have like a more a more structured sort of setup, not just train spaghetti everywhere. Hmm. We'll have to think about that in the future. I definitely like the move away from one train with five carriages, but yeah, one one trains you just plonk stuff down everywhere is not great because, I mean, think about it. Eventually when we get to a MAM, we're going to have to plan the living crap out of it. And when we get to the, even the milestone shapes, like, what is it? This one right here, because that's, that's our very first milestone shape. Uh, no, actually it's not. That's this milestone. So we could make these milestone shapes right now. Maybe that's what I'll do next episode, is I'll build that, 
and I'll build this. And because they're milestone shapes and I want to keep delivering them forever, I'll put them out somewhere in the corner. And yeah, just keep... But then again, um, the problem with that is this milestone shape, you can build it without using painting only in the middle of the map, getting red circles and blue squares out in the corner of the map is a lot more difficult than you might expect to get them in decent quantities anyway. I mean, we've got blue circles a little bit, we've got a blue circle there, but usually when you build a milestone shape out in the corner of the map, you generally, um, well, let's, let's say, what do we actually need for this one? Blue circles, I know, red circles and blue squares. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just find something. I doubt it though, I really doubt it. Usually when I make them for just like infinite purposes, I make them using painting. And for painting, we will need fluid um, extensions. Cause yeah, that's just, I mean like you, it's doable to get away without needing fluid extensions if you've got pipes, cause you can just pipe everything together. But if we're not, if we're not using pipes, then yeah, it's, I actually do like this little, so, so, you, so you can see there and you can see all the little colors moving around and it's all nice and pretty. Yeah, I definitely like that. Okay, so we've got this guy going in. This shape is going in. It's going into this train, which is sending it over to here. Hasn't quite offloaded it yet. So yeah, there's a lot of spin up time. There's a lot of things being cached all over the place. Like you got huge caches over here. And we're just offloading more and more. But I mean, even if you were doing it without all the trains, you would still, you wouldn't have caches, you would just have everything backed up and not moving, which I'm not sure which one is necessarily worse, but yeah, it's all good. It's definitely all good. So yeah, definitely, um, I think this episode, I what I'll probably do is I'll probably, um, yeah, I was, I was talking about having a generic sort of setup that I could reuse for these shapes. It didn't really happen, did it? I mean, it kind of happened, but we ended up just with these little modules just shoved anywhere. It wasn't well planned, if you know what I mean. It definitely wasn't well planned. Maybe I'll try and do some well, maybe that'll be the next episode, like well planning it. I mean, that's what this episode was supposed to be. But then again, I only started well planning it, quote unquote, like halfway through the video. And I just sort of launched into it. So I'm not surprised that it didn't really work out. But anyway, got some shapes coming through. This one definitely always takes longer to get the second level going. Oh, there it is. It's going now. All right, that's beautiful. And the good thing about this is the trains are quick. They're very, very quick. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to call it there, to be honest. Um, we could get keep going, but this one we're taking care of. This one, we've got it here, already building up. We just need to merge it in. So there's nothing really new going to happen. So I think, okay, I think here's what we do next time. I think what we do next time is we do both of these simultaneously um now we might run a little bit short on resources is the only problem but we try and set it up so that it could be simultaneous and we kind of try and set it up to the point where <clears throat> we have like a really good setup like this or something like that like where we have an area where we're doing all of the things putting together and then we do something like this, for example, um, where this, uh, where's, where's my train line, where this one goes over to there and this one goes over to there, something like that, something like that, where it just, it just makes sense. And we're sort of stylizing it in a way that's easy to understand. And then we just got to route all the belts in. So not this mess. <clears throat> definitely not this best i want like a single blueprint i can just plonk it down and it's got like 10 trains in the blueprint 
and I'm just like, okay, I just got to route these three. It could even just be like a, like a three layer blueprint or something like that. And then I would say, okay, this layer needs some additional stacking. Let's go ahead and um, set up another little thing later on. Okay, so now we can do that and set that up. And now it's going to set the full one. So now we've already just like that, we've done that. Uh, yeah. I kind of, I kind of want to fit a bloody thing in here. This is the top one. This is the bottom one. This is so, actually what we might do is we might just send this one all, all the way over there and then there. And then this one goes in there. And then this one. Oh, I just realized I already destroyed the exit. I did not mean to destroy the exit. Uh, that was that was a bit too as a bit too over uh, exuberant. Uh, so we're still going to keep that. But yeah, later on, all we need to do is we need to route this guy up there. Oh, the train got tracked on the wrong track. All right, let's do that there. So all we got to do is we got to move this one. Instead of going in there, we send it up there. Oh, and then this one instead goes in and sets off at this. Actually, what we can probably do is we can probably already do that. Hmm, shape unloading. Shape unloading. Yep. So yeah, so all we need to do to get the last shape is we need to reroute this to go onto this line instead, instead of this one. And then everything else will take care of itself. So yeah, once again, we are looking at close to a minute and I am very happy with where we are. To be honest, I'm very, very happy, but I'm not happy with this spaghetti. I mean, it's, it's, that's train spaghetti, okay? Usually in a game, you have belt spaghetti, and then you progress to um, out of belt spaghetti, and then you have nice trains running everywhere. We have skipped the belts entirely, and we have ended up with train spaghetti. So that is how we are doing it, but no, not a single space belt on the entire map. And we are producing this shape without a single space belt on the entire map. So it's impressive, okay? I'll, I'll give myself some credit there. It's very impressive. But, my God. <coughs> okay. So, yeah. Next, next time. Um, yeah, I think I'll focus in the next episode on these tasks. I'll get these tasks out of the way, both of them. And we'll try and do it without any spaghetti. We'll try and get a nice formalized approach, a nice neat approach. And then once we've done that, then I will take that approach and we will make these shapes. We'll make this one and we'll make this one out in the boondock somewhere. And by that time, we will have enough research points to get uh, fluid minor extensions. And that's it. And that's the only thing we need to sort of build those milestones properly. Uh, and along the way, I'd love to get <coughs> belts, cutting, stacking, painting. We don't need to get, I don't think 30 per minute is enough for 120 per minute. So these guys are lagging behind. Painting is already where it needs to be. And you know what? Train capacity, train speed is probably not a bad idea because that is definitely the thing that. I'm not going to say it's the thing that's slowing us down, but it's definitely a major, it's a lot more major factor than it is usually. So we'll see how, why have we not put any shapes in yet? Why have we not put any shapes in? There we go. There's some shapes. Um, just had to wait a little while, but yeah. 
So we've got to wait for this crap to drain out, and then this one doesn't go out. In reverse, when you're loading the train station, it actually destroys the contents of here. But I'm glad to see that when you're doing unloading it, it doesn't destroy what's already in there. It just sort of lets it seep out. Which would be interesting if you had any sort of filter thing going on at the other end. You'd have to make sure you dump it. But yeah, for now, that's pretty good. So anyway, I've already said goodbye like five times. So we're going to say goodbye again. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys. So a last look at the train mayhem. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.